Right, as I look up onto the Skype wall, I see a familiar face. A young man who's dialed in because he's a Reading fan. You will know him more probably as Ben Coles from the Rugby Blog. But tonight, he's a Reading football fan, and I'm delighted to say he's up on the Skype wall with us. Ben, good evening to you, pal. Good evening, Mike. Well, great to have you on the show. Thank you very much indeed. You put your football hat on tonight. You're a Reading fan. You must be elated. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, It hasn't been easy the last week. We haven't played very well at all against Brighton or, or Southampton or even tonight against Forest, but we've just edged it. And mm. it's, it's fantastic, really. It's great to be back, mm. especially after last year in the playoffs, which was really tough. So, yeah, very, very happy indeed. OK, now, obviously, you were the dark horses because everybody was only talking about West Ham and Southampton for two-thirds of the season. Then all of a sudden, you started moving uh, stealthily up the table. Do you know what happened there? The sudden impetus of energy? Of, and you just said that it sort of petered out a little bit in the last two or three weeks. But where did it all start for you? When did you realise that there was something happening? I think it's a combination of, um, of Brian McDermott, the manager. Yeah. I think he's got a fantastic bond with these players. And the way that he, in January, when we were struggling and we, and we brought in new investment with a new Russian owner, I think that really helped to tie down, especially guys like Jimmy Kebe, who, who was looking to, for a move elsewhere, to keep him on a on a new deal was essential because he provides so much so many assists. Yeah. So, so that was fantastic. And yeah. I just think it's all about momentum and confidence. And they've they've picked up something ridiculous, like forty six out of fifty one available points or something mad yeah. like that. And it, and it's just been an amazing run. And when you, and as yeah. we know in all sports, whether it's football, rugby, whatever, mm. when you get on those runs and, yeah. and you just keep winning, that belief just intensifies. I think another thing was was McDermott not going to Wolves when, when there was there was some talk about them looking at bringing him in? Yeah, I think for him staying, that kind of gave everyone at the club that that boost that our aim was that we were going to go up yeah. for us to have, to currently be first and maybe win the championship. Yeah. That's uh, that's something else. Yeah, I mean, am I right in thinking, Ben? Do you lose four of your six first games at the start of the season? It looked very grim, and I, you know, the, yeah. there have been situations, there have been situations, believe it or not, when chairman have panicked and thought, oh. We're heading for relegation here, you know, and, and, and we'll change the manager. Mr Majedski's made of sterner stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he's a, he's a very loyal guy. He always sticks by his managers through through thick and thin. And, and you're right in saying that the first few uh, first few months were horrible. I remember mm. when we were down 21st, kind of 22nd, and, and you were wondering whether that emotional hangover from the playoff final when, sure. they, were, when they were hammered by Swansea, yep. how long that was going to last for and whether they could check that off. But it's it, it's turned around that it's fantastic. And, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, going to do the job and win the championship as well, as well as being promoted. Yeah, well, that would be fabulous, as you quite rightly say. The uh, the horror of getting beaten in the in the playoff final was a, a nightmare you didn't want repeated. Uh, amazing scenes, of course, we all saw from Reading tonight from the Majeski Stadium. Fans got onto the pitch there. It was a sea of humanity. Literally, it's a bit of a, a well hackneyed expression, but the, the the Reading fans were absolutely out of their tree. And I I think <laughs> I I went to see Everton play there the last season. You were in the Premiership. It's a it's a fantastic. I think it's a fantastically compact ground, a really great stadium. Mr Majeski's put everything into it. Will he now regret uh, doing this deal, which I think is going to be finalised in a few days, to sell the club to a Russian oligarch? He'll probably regret not being at the helm for a bit longer, but I think he knows that for the club in the long term, he can't provide yep. the stability that it needs yep. to stay in the Premier League. And that's what we need. We need, we yep. need that investment. We need to be... We don't need to be worrying about whether players are going to sign contracts. We need to be able to tie them down. And we yeah. also need to need to bring in some new faces over the summer. We need a, an experienced Premier League striker to shore up the defence. So, it, Reading, for me, has always been a Premier League club because mm. of the ground, because of the training facilities. Yeah, It's always felt a bit wrong at being in the Championship. And I know we've only had two seasons in the past, yeah. but now we, we want to stay up and we want to stay in there. And I think what's been even harder yeah. with the playoff defeat last season is looking at how well Swansea have done. Yeah. And sit and thinking, Kai, oh, you know what, that could have been us. And yeah, so exactly. seeing all those fans on the pitch, it's just relief. Yes. It's just pure emotional relief at being able to get back in the Premier League. Yeah, I, I can understand all of that. I really can. Well, listen, mate, thank you very much indeed for coming on the show tonight, mate. Great to see you with your football cap on. No doubt we'll be talking to you again very soon with your rugby hat on because there's plenty of rugby to come over the next few months. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, of course, that's Ben Coles from the Rugby Blog, but tonight, talking football as a big Reading fan. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. 
Sports Tonight Live. It's the platform for the fans. 